Well, I think Glam's is, Glam's is, is obviously well known because obviously the Queen Mother was brought up there. Princess Margaret was, was born there. It's been a, it's been a royal home for, for centuries. Staff are absolutely crucial. From the minute they come through that gate, it's A, got to look immaculate, whether it's the signage or the, the lawns manicured, and we've got a straight, one mile straight drive. So head start, and the castle sort of unfolds below the hills. But your staff have got to be perfect. From the minute they go in, the shops have to be perfect. The um, restaurant, how often is it? They, they go through the castle, they finish the tour, they're in a warmth. The Queen Mother permeates the building. They think it's, they're glowing. And then they get a stale sandwich with a sour-faced staff because we franchise restaurants out. Actually, uh, this year I've just pulled off another coup and I've brought in a firm called Wild Time, who are the Scottish event caterers of the year 2012. Top class, bringing a huge customer uh, client base with them to me because um, that was a big weakness. So every, every bit of that business has to be polite, smart, tidy, and high quality. We are five star. There's no point in having five star until you get to the restaurant and it's four star. But at the end of the day, it's the people. It's what, what people's skills, can they interact with people? Not everybody can. And not everybody can be as noisy as me. And I fully understand that. Um, but they've got to be inter interact. Obviously, it's great if they can speak Russian or Norwegian or any of these languages. There's two key things really, it's the visitor experience, the product's got to be perfect, but above all we're in a people business and if you give the visitors and look after them and they're not visitors with us, they are guests, then you will crack this business. It's absolutely vital. The other thing I suppose you, I will really be saying to people is get yourself out there. You cannot run these businesses sitting in your backside in an office. And if you need people to help you, go out and find them. Get into partnership, collaborate with people. It cuts the costs, you get good ideas from other people. But on the whole, I've, I've found that if you just look after your staff, get out and take an interest in what's going on, see what other people are doing, and do things differently. And don't say it can't be done, because it can be done. And I found it can be done if you just keep at it. We're going through bad times just now. 2012 was the worst tourism season for 40 years. The Olympics turned the tap off just like that. Um, and I'm having to restructure the entire company now and lose people, which I hate doing, but you know, so we're not, we're, we're fallible. But um, I, just, I just like to do things slightly differently, that's all.